you recognize this? This is called a squash. Oh. It's squash. It grows in Minnesota, and it's part of your school lunch. Hello, farmer. Hey, how you doing? Let's go talk to a farmer. Hi, I'm Aaron. Do you recognize this? I thought you were guessing this before. Squirrel egg. What is it? A squirrel egg. Squirrel egg? You know what this is too? A squash. Do you eat this? <laughs> I do not like it. Yeah? So you were asking before about zucchini and you were talking about pumpkins. Yeah, oh, I like zucchini and pumpkins, just not this type of squash, you know? Yeah, They're, this is all from the same family, the, the squash, the zucchini, the pumpkins, the cucumbers, yeah, yeah. They're it, you all know that? squash. And they're, they're all vine crops. You know, yeah. they grow on that long vine. Hi, I'm Aaron, and today we are out at our pumpkin patch, as well as our squash patch. All the plants in this field are vine crops. The life cycle of the plant is obviously the seed in the ground, and then it starts to grow, shows its first true leaves. And then after about five weeks, the plant starts to get into a, a stage that we call running, where it'll, it'll start to put out these long vines. And when it does that, it also puts on flowers all over the vine, as well as uh, future fruit sites. But do you know what vine crops need, absolutely need, to make fruits like this? Mm. Vegetables. Pollinators. Mm -hmm. What's a pollinator? Bees, wild insects, um, anything that is in here that's an insect we consider a pollinator. We need to be conscious of the pollinators that are out there because those are the workers for the middle section of this whole crop. So this is an example of the, the end of a vine. And here you can see kind of the transition of the fruit. So here is a fruit that is still young, but it's, it's pollinated. And it has the blossom here that's dried off and finished. This one is gone as well. But in this one, you can still see the blossom on it. And what happens is the pollinators take the, the pollen from the male flowers and deposit it here just by foraging and looking for nectar. And then if this, pumpkin or squash does get pollinated, uh, this will fall off like the rest of them. And as time allows and, and conditions, it will mature into a fruit. Then we come in and this is all hand harvested. So uh, we'll come through with a crew of people. We'll, we'll pick the fruits off and pile them up or load them right onto the truck directly into big bins. And then from there, we take them to, uh, to our market to sell them at, the, at our fall festival. No? Think you can hide all the way? Oh yeah, you can. Do you think that you can open this one up? Like you opened everything else? Oh. Somebody hold this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down. Okay. I'm gonna try to crack this. Oh, you're gonna try to crack it? Pretty hard, huh? You can try. Oh, you got it open. You almost got it. I'm curious to see what that looks like inside. There, there it is. Fun fact, uh, these do not twist open. The easiest way to open these is actually to smash it. No, nope, just kidding. Yes, no, seriously, don't smash them. Your parents won't be happy with the mess they make. What's in there? What's in what are all these things that are falling out all over the place? You know what those are? Those are the seeds. Those are like the little future babies of this thing. I th you know what, I think we should we should save a little bit. We don't want to smash too much of it because someone might want to eat this for lunch later. Let's try spaghetti squash. All right, let me move it a little closer. All right, go for it. All right, take a meat. And spaghetti. Wait, how do you already know it? Because I can hear it. I can hear it. Um. It's still good. Is it spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, it's spaghetti. Noodles with sauce on it. It's squash. Squash. Isn't that amazing? Squash. Oh, it's shredded. Half. 
It's noodles. Look for Minnesota squash in your school lunch this month. What's your favorite way to eat squash? <laughs>